Howdy friends and welcome to The Average J. It is Tuesday tag time. Yes it is. You know one thing I just noticed is you and I are both wearing long pants. I think that's the first time you and I have worn long pants on the same day in a long time because it it's always so warm. You know summertime is it's the end of September, but it's still warm. It is. It was in the 70s today, but I wore today, so I wore my pants. Oh, I got you. Yeah, then, well. Then, then I had a swim club meeting. Yes. And Michelle's was... a trustee at the swim club and had a meeting to go to. So she worked, cooked dinner, and had a meeting. And yeah. I worked up at the base today. Yeah. Military duty during the day. And uh, I took a break uh, to do this, but I've been working for the last two hours on my civilian job work. So you and I have been busy today. We have been. So, but I let the cat out the bag that it's not really Tuesday; it's Monday night. So, oh. but I'm just. I think they'll forgive us. I hope so. Just trying to get this <laughs> thing knocked out because tomorrow yeah. I'll be at the base all day, and uh, come Jeez. home and have to work. And Michelle has her stuff going on. So we've yeah. got. It's actually been really busy. We have been. <laughs> I need vacation. <laughs> I need a little bit of Disney in my life. A little bit of Mindy in my life. So, it's like a potpourri tonight. It's okay. a potpourri tag. Well, I have not read not one word of any of these questions. Okay. Yeah. So, no, I didn't think you did. Yeah. And uh, the tag was originated by Recipes with Roy. So, thank you, Roy. Okay. And we will link Roy's channel down below. And we were tagged by Joan at Joan's Point of Plate. Okay. Again, tag down at the bottom, <laughs> you know, or the uh, description, uh, box. description box. Yeah. yeah. So, Michelle has not reviewed any of these questions ahead of time, so <laughs> it'll be kind of interesting to see how hers yeah. goes. Well, I'll try to answer mine first and give you okay. that extra couple seconds to think. That that would be helpful. That'd Thank be you. helpful. All right. <laughs> Number one, what is your cell phone wallpaper? All right, well, Aww. yours is easy because I can right show there. it because it's right here. It's our grandson, Gavin, you know, so. Well, the, oh, yeah, there, there you go. go. You can see that one a little better. <laughs> but I like my um, lock screens better. Oh, uh, your lock screen is better? Let me he's see what your lock screen is. He's eating pasta in that one. Oh, uh, yep. He's eating pasta on her lock screen. Oh, my God, he's so cute. He is a cutie pie. <laughs> so uh, I have Michelle's phone, the questions on there because I'm using... Uh, Oh, thanks. Because <laughs> uh, I'm using my phone to tape with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So my lock screen and wallpaper is I put a theme on. I never put a mm -hmm. theme on. So it's a moving theme. So on the lock screen, it looks like nighttime, a frozen river. So there's like snow on the banks and the water, you can see the water moving. That's on the lock screen. And the wallpaper is kind of about the same picture, but it's not moving and the water's in a little different position. It's very um, calming and pretty. It is. I expect to see like the uh, uh, northern lights yeah, on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that is mine. Okay. Question number two What is the weirdest dream you remember having? So I'll go first. So. I've had a recurring dream since I was a kid, and it's recurring and weird, and I, I can never figure it out, but um, my folks lived catty corner to my grandparents, and we had a six-foot privacy fence that went around the yard, and I remember going through one of the gates out uh, into the front of the fence to go around to go to my grandmother's house, and blocking the way was a lion. And it didn't attack me, but every time I go to the right or to the left to maneuver around it, the lion wouldn't let me pass, you know, and I could see over to my grandmother's house. Have no idea what it means, what the meaning behind it is, but, uh, I, and I've had that as recent as probably five or six years ago. I had that same wow. dream. Yeah, so, and when I say huh. recurring, I don't mean like every year, but I probably had that dream five, six times at mm. least, but I and it's the same dream every time. Even though that fence is no longer there, mm. we live now in the house that my yeah. grandmother lived in. My parents still <laughs> live in the same house, but it's always the same thing. I'm mm. going from that direction, but what's yours? So it's along the same lines where it's a, a reoccurring dream. I don't think I've dreamt this for since I've been an, an adult adult, but um, 
we were driving on the Jersey Shore boardwalk, but I, I want to say it was Ocean City, and we're actually driving a car on the boardwalk, but as we keep going, boards would be missing mm -hmm. until we actually, like, crashed into the ocean. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It was more of a nightmare, but I did have, it was, a like you said, a reoccurring dream. Yeah. But that would be like the weirdest. I have the weirdest, the ones we dream again and again and again and again. I know, right? Doesn't but I mean, you, you, we've all had, you know, the falling dream. We've all done yeah. that. But, yeah. I don't know, lately I've been dreaming about my mom. Oh. You know, but. Yeah, but those are good dreams, not weird. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, question number three. Would you rather be... I need to take my glasses off for this, and this, this, uh... <laughs> is is pretty small so well i'm changing michelle's size of everything here <laughs> sorry um would you rather be able to see the future but not be able to change it or hear from the dead but not be able to speak to them oh weird because you just said about your mom i know right you know i'm so, gonna go with that then so you but even though you couldn't talk back and she wouldn't be able to hear you because you can't speak to them you'd only be able to hear them or would you rather see in the future and not be able to change it uh, yeah, no. I, I think talk to my or, you know, you know see my mom. Uh, that would be good. I mean, I, I don't have anybody that close to me that has passed, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so my answer would probably be different. But okay. I guess I look at it as if you can see into the future, you'd have to change something. Like, if I went to the future and I saw okay. that, you know, in... You know, the end of this year that Alabama wins the national championship... Which they always win the national championship. <laughs> I was say, Roll that, Tide. That really predicting the future. Yeah, no. I mean, it doesn't take it doesn't take a genius to figure that Alabama wins the national <laughs> title a lot, but but I'm just saying. So I I see that they win, and then after I see that, I you know call up Las Vegas. Hello, Las Vegas. I want to bet you know my entire life savings mm -hmm. on Alabama to win right? and make money. So I mean, I'm not really changing everybody else's future, but I'm changing my future. So. I, I don't know. That. But besides that, I think I would like mm -hmm. to see the stuff that I'm not going to be able to see because I'll be dead by then. You know, like, will we ever really have flying cars that they've been saying uh, yeah. forever would be around? They, they said they'd be here in the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, the 90s. <laughs> the like, every decade, mm -hmm. we, we're supposed to have flying cars, you know? Although it's pretty impressive that they do, like, they're on parallel parking now. We're getting close. And we are. So, But I think I'd like to see what all the future stuff's going to be. Yeah. I mean, look what we can do with our cell. I mean, who would have thought we could do yeah. so much with these cell phones? The cell phones are better than the best supercomputers that, like, NASA had in the 60s right? and 70s. So. All right. <laughs> Number four. Choose just one and why. Halloween, Thanksgiving, or Christmas? Okay. So, Halloween is definitely out. Yes. We don't even put up decorations yeah. real. I mean, maybe we put a few inside. A little bit. But... You know, once it got to a point where the neighborhood kids would literally just show up not wearing anything. Right. You know, well, I mean, they have clothes on, but I'm just saying, like, right. no costume. They're like 14, 15 years old, just hold out a pillowcase and say, you know, here, fill that, candy. That, and when the kids start grabbing, like, handfuls, handfuls yeah. and put them on, like, So, okay. we, we stopped putting on our light on Halloween when that started happening. But, yeah. Okay, um, so, I agree so with you on that. So, Thanksgiving <clears throat> or Christmas. I'm going to say Christmas. So am I. Yeah. But you got to say why. I'll say mine. Yeah. So I get like that warm feeling at Christmas. Like it means something. Mm -hmm. Thanksgiving. <coughs> Pardon me. My throat's dry. See, as a matter of fact, the irony that I'm drinking yeah. out of a Santa Claus mug tonight. I <laughs> saw that. And honestly, I didn't even think about the question when I saw yeah. it. I love Christmas. I get a warm feeling mm -hmm. like goodwill towards men. You know, yeah. I, I just think that. It is a time when the kinder, gentler side of people come out. You know, it's a shame. Yeah. I wish more people would have, you know, maybe a little bit more spirit of yeah, the Lord in there. Yeah, I was just say, leading up to Christmas, it's a little crazy with the shopping. No, but I'm saying I wish maybe people, the reason for the season, I wish a few more people yeah. would actually, you know, kind of be embrace into that, that and yeah. embrace that. But, yeah. um, you know... I mean, if it gets somebody to go to church that one time a year, yeah. well, that helps. It's, it does. It's one time more, yeah. you know, and, and I just think it's a joyous time. Mm -hmm. But what about you? So you lean towards Christmas. Yeah, and I think that's, it's it's a time where 
I like to give to give, you know. I, I feel, you know, I love to give instead of receive. Yeah. And we've done a lot more giving than receiving between the two of us. Um, but I love to see the kids open their stuff on Christmas Day. Yeah, and, and it was so great that last year we actually got to drive out to California and see Gavin. Exactly. On Christmas. Oh. Well, it was a couple of days before Christmas, but I mean, my goodness, yeah. it was like literally Christmas week. Right, And right. you got to see your grandson open yeah. his stuff on the church Christmas. Yep. That was neat. <laughs> All right. Number five. If you could instantly master any skill, what would it be and why? And before I start that, I'm going to throw a pop culture at you. Who is it? Girls only want guys that have great skills. Uh, well, that I know. Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> I'll insert that clip. Okay. I don't even have any good skills. What do you mean? You know, like nunchuck skills, bow hunting skills, computer hacking skills. Girls only want boyfriends who have great skills. So, okay, so if you could only master one skill, Ooh. what would it be? Mine's going to be cooking. I've, I've said that a million times that I want my cooking to be, I love to cook. Oh, my goodness, I love to cook and yeah. bake and everything. My baking's terrible. Oh, the, but, oh, but my cooking the is, zucchini bread was excellent. Yeah, it was <laughs> Joan's recipe from Joan's yeah. Point of Plate. I made her zucchini bread. But I'm going to be making her horseradish Dijon salmon next week. Okay. It's on the menu for next week. <laughs> I made my menu for like three weeks at, at ahead of time so but hers is thursday of next week so okay. i still have like nine <laughs> days so but cooking because hmm. i find it to be so fun but i want to you know be a little bit better on you know spices and and herbs and stuff like that you know i, I wish i had a little better grasp on some of that I'm so jealous of Roy's kitchen. Yeah, Roy came up with these questions. Whenever yeah. he does his, his videos, I love the layout of his kitchen. And he can turn from the cabinets and he has that island to cook on. Yeah. Oh, super nice. Anyway, go ahead. Um, at this point in my life, you know, you got the cooking. So <laughs> you can continue that. Um, I say gardening. Yeah, but you're already an expert at it. I, I am not. Yeah. My flowers, Everybody that goes by, they they say, oh, you're the house that always has the pretty flowers. Yes, yeah. Michelle does an amazing job on her gardening, you know. And I and I love it. I do love it. But they didn't really do so well this year. They but that was nice. a lack of skill. That was environmental. It could it could have been. It could have been. But that's, that's okay. where the skill well, comes in. You I know, maybe... You. Could you have done? Could it have looked better if you had a little more skill on what to do in that hot, yeah. different kind of weather? Yeah. Oh, I got you. Can't do anything about them slugs, though. Oh God, no. Ugh. Maybe you should have extermination skills. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I have my salt out. <laughs> there you go. Number six. Wow, we're over halfway done already. All right. Although whoever's watching is probably like, "Oh my goodness, come on!" Yeah. You know? All right, we'll try to hurry it up. I promise. Number six. What is your most petty deal breaker? Some small thing that would make you break up with someone. Oh my gosh, you go ahead. Um, yeah, I mean, that that's a tough call. I mean, I, I don't think I have any kind of petty little yeah. thing, you know, well, so. I have one. What? Okay, so it was petty and it was more of my, my mom's doing, but if you're late for your date. I, I had at least one one boy, Ralph, <laughs> he used to deliver the chickens to the Holiday Inn, and he was he was really late. I would say at least two hours late. What? Yeah. But I think he was working. Okay. So my mom, she, she was like, you know, that's not good. <laughs> right. You know, you should not go out with him again because he showed up so late. I said, but he did call. Yeah. I deliver yeah. you your chickens on time. You do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so, being late. Okay. Being late is a good one. Mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, I, I'm not about, you know, a woman who is all into her looks. I mean, you I don't want somebody who's... Agent? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> you know, I'm not saying it's not nice when somebody, you know, does himself up right, every now effort. and then. It looks nice, but you know what? It, I'm going to see you without that makeup you know At so some point. right <laughs> so stop making it all about that and let your personality shine through so mm -hmm. and I, I think i'm i'm consistent on that you know i'm not about like the yeah. you know high maintenance you know well, I'm all, as low the makeup as stuff oh stop it you're so pretty <laughs> but that's not why i love her i love her because she's awesome so <laughs> number seven 
What famous person have you been told you look like? Okay, so I've had several people say this, and mostly this one gentleman that worked at the, the Holiday Inn, he used to say it all the time. He said, I look like Christy Alley. <laughs> Right, and so. it's mainly the eyes, because you have the exact yeah. type of eyes that Kirstie Alley did. Oh, and I, and I had dark, the dark brown, brown hair. I, I know. had dark brown hair at that point, too. That's true. <laughs> and I've had, I, I don't say it, but I, I've been told Jude Law. And I, I honestly, I actually, you know, at one point had to look up who he was, because I didn't even know who he was, you know. But, and oh, that he's was, handsome. Uh, oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than right. saying, oh, what famous person? Well, you look like. Quasimodo, you know? Uh, you know. <laughs> no, but um, but that was all in the younger days. So, you know, I'm not saying people say that I look like that now, or they don't even say it about you no, to a degree now. Jude Law but, and you are probably about the same age, uh, so yeah. Okay. Well, I thought I was like old, old man, but all right. Wow. Number eight. What's the, what is the best advice you ever received, and what's the best advice you've ever given? This one's a hard oh, one. It's a tough one. I'll say uh, best advice I ever received was um, to start looking to leave the last full-time job I was at um, okay. and go where I am now. You know, I don't want to name companies because I'm not going to badmouth anybody, you know, but... Um, you know, once people started saying you got to get out of their family, you know, you, you, you had said, oh, yeah. you know, you got to get out of there because, yeah. you know, I had a boss who. It's a toxic environment. It, it was a toxic environment. It was. Yeah. You know, I don't feel that, you know, the skills that I brought to the table were being utilized the best they could have. And so now I'm with a company that, you know, guess what? They say thank you all the time. And that goes a long way, yeah. you know. So I'm just saying, I think that was the best advice. And it was from multiple people was. You know, like in Amityville Horror, get out. <laughs> but, and then the best advice I ever gave, I would say, would be to, uh, I mean, Brittany will see, but to Stephanie to look look hard at the military, you know, because I think it's, it's doing well for her and her family. I think to a degree, aside from being away from family, I think she likes it. She, may, she met uh, her husband, Josh, who's a, mm -hmm. you know, great guy, has a great, you know, grandkid. I think the best advice I ever gave was look in the military because it's done well for us. I mean, I'm still in. I, you know, started in 1993 and here mm -hmm. I am still, you know, serving the Air Force, you know, so. Yeah. Okay, so what's yours? Best <laughs> advice you ever received or best advice you've ever given? I, I'm having a tough time with this, so I'm, I'm, I think we're going to pass on this one. I have to give it more, a little more thought, I think. Okay. <laughs> um, number nine, have you ever named your vehicles? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one was easy. Uh, last question, number 10. If you could commit a crime and get away with it, what would it be and why? I, I mean, I, I would never commit a crime even if I, I could, if or if I knew I could get away with it. You know what I mean? It's just, we're the people that if they give us a dollar too much change that, you know, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll go back in the store and make sure they get it. So certainly I can't steal from anybody. Um, yeah, I can't hurt another person no. that's not within, you know, our, our way of being, you know, mm -hmm. I, I guess the only thing I could say, I wouldn't even call it a crime yeah. is the amount of chickens I have, yeah. you know, cause <laughs> also I was going to say something about cheating, the, cheating the system, the, or, amount, the amount of yeah. chickens I'm permitted to have versus how mm -hmm. much at various times I have had, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, uh, but they come and go, though. They like, do. They come you know, and go. No, no, no. <laughs> the Cornish I, rocks are going to be going. Yeah. They so came, but they're going to be going. The meat chickens, Joni and I, yeah. you know, split a batch of meat chickens, and she and I and her family will be processing them. So that'll mm -hmm. take the number down by 10. So, For sure. but <laughs> I guess if that's the only thing I can think of is, you know, maybe I, I've skirted the numbers a little bit well, yeah, versus that, that what's would, on the license. Yeah. I mean, that would be mine. It would be. Some, some to cheat. But <laughs> cheat. Cheat at what? I, I don't know. Cheat at paying bills. Cheat at... <laughs> uh, does he, I don't not see you paying. doing that same cheating at paying bills. It's not. First off, that's not a crime. No, it's not. You have to be... I mean, and the only reason I say a crime is because the township law. It's so yeah. if you're saying breaking the law, 
and mm-hmm. and you know so I wouldn't say cheating on something is really breaking the law hmm. so probably for you nothing yeah no I'm, like I've said, I've said in another Tuesday tag it's been we're pretty much goody two shoes yeah here. we are goody two <laughs> shoes so but I mean that that's really I guess the, about the maximum I can think you know we can't steal we can't hurt you know it's just not in our nature but oh well well that's gonna do it for Tuesday tag and hope you enjoyed what we had to say you know we, it, was, it was a little difficult because you know Michelle like I said Michelle didn't see the questions ahead of time and honestly I only gave them a quick glance um, as I was typing them for somebody else instead of forming a text I actually typed them out so I did read them but that was only a half an hour ago okay so and it's not like I was thinking about them the whole time so thank you Joan for going ahead and tagging us and we're gonna tag I'm gonna tag uh, Mima over at Mima Living Healthy again, and um, I do know that Papa is not available tomorrow, so don't know if they're going to get a chance to do the tag or not. I'm hoping that they do. So, okay. um, but if you could go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, we would really appreciate it. Thumbs up. <laughs> Have a great night. <laughs>